Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. As always, I am your host Vortex and as always you guys are right here inside of Vortex Sound Studios, home of mobilemusicpro.com. We have a great video for you guys today. We're giving you just a quick tip talking about Nano Studio 2. We're going to be talking about searching across all of your AUV3 presets via Nano Studio 2. We hope you guys enjoy this tip. We know we use it all the time. So remember, if you guys enjoy videos like this, remember to smash the thumbs up button, smash that like button and subscribe if you are new to the channel. So without further ado guys, let's get right into the quick tip. Hello and welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're going to be talking about searching through all of your AUV3 presets throughout your entire iPad via Nano Studio 2. So hey guys, you know, we don't really use uh, Nano Studio 2 much for our main DAW, but we absolutely use it for this beautiful feature. So this is a quick tip, so let's get right into it guys. Let's pull up Nano Studio 2. And as you can see right away when it's loading, it's going to be loading all of our... Um, all of our synths and all of our apps and all of our AUV3 apps right away there in the beginning. And if we go to the uh, browse section here, we can actually see that we are now uh, browsing all of our AUV3 applications. So there's a bunch in here that we have, guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to demonstrate uh, searching for these presets. Now, as you can see, um, we're in the base section right now. We, we just actually just typed in base. Uh, so What's, what's really great guys, if we look at the interface here, we see to the left that we have all of our AUV3 apps. We see in the center that we have um, categories and we see to the right where all the presets are. Now, unfortunately, clicking on any of these actual uh, preset categories here will not bring up all of your presets across all of your apps. So we actually have to do a manual search. So up here guys, in the top right hand corner, we have a search. So let's say, uh, now this is very important. First, we have to click on all over here guys to make sure that we're selecting all. And then we go over here to the search and we can search for anything like, let's just search for lead. So if we search for lead, we can see that it pulls up lead across all of our AUV3 apps. So if we look here, we can see it, the title of the preset and then underneath in small letters, it shows the AUV3 apps. So we can see the Cyberton saw lead here is from Volt. And then we see down here that the analog lead is from Poison TOT, or sorry, Poison 202. So we can just click on any one of these. Let's click on the Cybertron uh, Saw lead. Now this is going to load up in the background the AUV3 app, and we can just start playing once it's loaded. <laughs> That is really, really great, guys, to be able to search across all of your presets. And again, this is really great. So we can just search for bass as well if we'd like. Uh, let's go ahead and search for bass. And again, pulls up all of our presets here. We can just scroll through them quickly. There's a lot of bass presets across all of our apps, guys. There is a bunch. So let's just pick out one. Uh, how about uh, Bass House from Synthmaster 1, one of the favorite, favorite apps over here at Mobile Music Pro. We'll pull that up. So we have all of all of access to all of our apps. Now, I will say this, guys. Uh, this is a very important caveat. This particular app, Nano Studio 2, does not cover every single AUV3. So, for example, uh, if we click on, uh, let's click on, let's go over here, click on one that we know doesn't have it. So if we click on Factory by Sugar Bites, you'll see, if we click the X out of the search there, that it only shows the default. There's, a, there's only a preset over here called default. And what that means is that Nano Studio 2 could not search the presets, could not find all the presets. Now guys, I do not know the magic sauce that Nano Studio 2 is using to get all of these presets across all of these apps, but clearly it has it doesn't work with every single one. Now it does work with most, but I will say that it does not work with every single one, unfortunately. So uh, when you the how you know is that when you click on one like Factory, it'll say just the default preset. We can find another one I think that is not supported. Uh, like, oh yeah, all, all of the um, Miniculous LLC guys, all of those guys' apps is not supported either. I've tried them all uh, from the Neo Souls to the Neo Souls 2. I've tried them all. They do not uh, show up here. Their presets do not show up here. Now, again, just a call out to Nano Studio 2. First of all, thank you for this amazing feature. But man, you guys, it would be amazing if you could reach out to these other app developers to be able to get those presets. And in fact, of course, uh, since Nano Studio 2 is not our main DAW, I would just like a separate app for this capability just to be able to search through all of our stuff because this is actually the only, uh, the only thing we use Nano Studio 2 for. Now this is a great DAW, uh, don't get me wrong, lots of people use it, uh, especially for trap music uh, lately, as of late. Um, shout out to iPad Beatmaking who's got an awesome uh, 808 engine kit 
uh, that is here in the Nano Studio 2. But uh, for us personally, we really prefer C C Cubasis as our main DAW, so we can use audio uh, and and uh, MIDI in that particular DAW. So that's something that we need. But uh, again, it's not something that everybody needs. So there's all sorts of stuff. We'll just we'll just go through a couple more presets, guys, and then we'll show you how we load it up in Cubasis. So we'll look. Uh, let's just look at um, Centronic. If we click on Centronic, uh, we might have to double click it. Double tap it. Oh, we double tapped it. And of course, as you see, guys, Syntronic is something that's not supported. This is just the default uh, preset that comes up. But if we click on Volt, we can see everything comes up here. Now, if we double tap it, that will load uh, the app in the background, and you'll see the little check mark right there next to it, confirming that it is loaded. Some of these, of course, take longer to load than others, but most of them load up pretty fast. So let's just go through a few here. Sci-fi. We'll just go through. You know, let's just go. Let's go through and search the search through them all here. Let's search for, I uh, know what's great in the in the center here, you're like, what, what should I search for? Well, we do have these categories still right in our face here in the center, though they do not work by tapping on them. They do give you ideas on what to search for, right? So let's search for ARP as we see that that's a category. So let's just search for ARP. And we can see that uh, we have a bunch of ARPs in here. So uh, now this is just searching Volt. So we have to remember to go back to the top and click all so that we can search across all our particular sense. Now we can have a huge, 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 huge list as you guys see. It just keeps going. There's a lot of ARPs across a lot of apps. Um, so let's try Digital D1. The, the Digital D1 does seem to take longer to load than any of my other AUV3 apps, but I'm sure that can be fixed. Uh, let's take a look here. Lots and lots of ARPs in here. Oh, this is the Synth Master player that we just tapped on now. Very beautiful. Uh, one more time, guys. Let's just search for one more thing before we close this out. Let's search for Pluck. We type in OK. Again, we get a bunch of plucks across everything. Let's try the Model 15 hard pluck. We can tap on that, take a second, and then it should load right up. Wow, this is a, this is a strange one. It seems that my computer can't, uh, my iPad can't handle this one, guys. Maybe we'll try a different one. Let's try. Because remember, we're also screen recording. But that's okay. I think this is enough here for you guys to see. I hope this was a useful tip for you guys. Now, just really quick to close it out, let's just load this up in Cubasis because this is what we do, guys. Now, you can load this up in a couple ways, InterApp Audio and Audio Bus. But I, I definitely, most definitely recommend Audio Bus because InterApp Audio is going away. And in fact, it's just a terrible, just terrible, uh, you know, technology because I've had nothing but bugs and crashes and um, just, just all sorts of uh, latency issues and pretty much everything you can think of, you know, like, like go wrong uh, <laughs> with, uh, uh, with, with InterApp Audio. So I'm definitely not going to recommend us, uh, recommend you guys do this, but I am going to show you that it, that it can work. That I am going to show you that it actually can work uh, like this here. So we got the digital D1 loaded up. Yeah, see, so that that might have crashed uh, again. The the audio kit D1 doesn't seem to load up very easily in AUV3. Uh, let's try uh, Synthmaster One here, or Synthmaster Player. We'll try the Synthmaster Player. That usually loads up pretty quick. Yep, here we go. load that up. Cubase is coming up. Here we are. Takes a second to load. 
and we are going to go ahead and go to add an audio track and since this is going to be audio we're also going to add a MIDI so just just so we can record the MIDI as well into our DAW so we'll go ahead and click on the instrument and go to no instrument we don't need that uh, playing anything all right uh, we got our audio track now let's go ahead and load up our Nano Studio 2 by clicking on routing clicking on the input choose enter app and we will choose our Nano Studio 2 now here we are guys back in Nano Studio 2 it, it'll just load that up right up right away sir straight away but let's go ahead and go back here make sure that we have audio coming so if we just do a test so we have audio coming through here now so we could actually record this uh, and um, and record this through here now so we'll just do a quick record So that has recorded both both the MIDI and the audio. Now, uh, let's close out of this and try the audio bus version. So to the good old audio bus. Beautiful app, guys. Everybody needs audio bus. Search for Nano Studio. There we go. Load up Cubasis over here. And now we've piped that baby right into Cubasis so we can again try the test. All right, we'll just do a quick record here. As you can see, guys, we have now recorded the audio and MIDI via audio bus. So that's how we over here at Mobile Music Pro do it. That's how we uh, use Nano Studio 2, and that's how we get it inside our Cubasis. So I hope this was very useful for you guys. We have a few more tips coming out very soon, so make sure to stay tuned to the channel. And if you enjoyed content like this, definitely make sure to hit that thumbs up and definitely check out our Patreon page at patreon.com slash mobile music pro. Thank you so much, guys. We'll see you soon. All right, we hope you guys enjoyed that video. We hope you enjoyed that quick tip. It took a few more minutes than I anticipated. Maybe it's maybe it's not quite such a quick tip, but we hope you guys enjoyed that a lot. We know we use it all the time over here at Mobile Music Pro. And again, just really uh, an awesome shout out to Nano Studio 2 over there. And if you guys could really just maybe reach out to more developers and see if we can get more of these presets available in th through this interface, it would be absolutely great, guys, because we know we enjoy it a lot. So again, thank you guys so much. Thanks to Blip Interactive. Thank you to Nano Studio 2. And thank you all for watching. Again, if if you guys enjoyed content like this make sure to smash the likes make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys really want to support content like this we really appreciate it if you guys can check out our patreon at patreon.com slash mobile music pro we hope you guys enjoyed this and until next time we'll see you later